I'm with Cormac Russell here at uh, a great event on People Power Change organised by Big Lottery Fund. And uh, first of all, Cormac, what's the main message you've been giving, giving to people about People Power Change? Well, it's the idea that there are things that only citizens can do and that what we really need to do is re remove the red tape to support them to do that and uh, to inflate the power of citizens and deflate the power of systems. That, that, that's kind of, in a nutshell, the key message. And uh, we heard from Jim Jez uh, some great stories from Seattle and around the world of uh, what communities uh, are doing by taking account of the uh, assets and strengths they have in their uh, community. That's right. And Jim, I mean, Jim's story is such a powerful story because it's a story of how citizens have stepped up but it's also a story about how agencies have stepped back while still caring and how they're removing bureaucracy but increasing levels of support for citizen-led action. So I think that that's what makes it so powerful, uh, looking at how agencies can be catalysts and facilitators of change as opposed to just service providers and finders of needs. And I think we're not just talking about that um, or hearing about that, but we're actually doing some of it. What's happening on the tables right. now? So we've designed an activity that it looks at the 12 domains of people power change, the areas where only people can make change happen, and that regardless of how well-resourced agencies are, they will never be able to do what citizens can do in that domain. But it's a really hard conversation to have. So myself and Tessie Britton, who's become a, a member of Nurture Development, uh, along with Jim Deers, uh, have designed a game, effectively, an activity that allows people to take that understanding into their own hands and make sense of it. So there are three key questions we're asking people to think about. One is, what can citizens do? The other is, what do they need help with? And the third is, what do we need government to do unilaterally when it comes to making and building people power in a good society? So. Um, it's interesting because um, there are very few activities. We have 100 action points from walking the dog to making sure that we build age-friendly societies. If you look around the tables, you'll see very, very few actions going into the government domain and lots going into co-production and into citizen-led action. Let's check that out. What's okay. going on down here? Hey, can I just check out how the sorting here is going? Uh, Cormac's been explaining the theory behind this. And so we've all we've divided them up, and now we're arguing about them rather than the other way around. <laughs> we're all talking all right. about big society badge. They're yeah. moving it all to the right. Okay. All right. So, what's your take on this, Kevin? Ask you. Okay, okay. Hugh. <laughs> what's my take on what? On how this is uh, these activities that are being no, potentially very interesting. Does I mean, it relate to your experience in Harringay and elsewhere? It does. I mean, we're, we're looking at, um, as I said, we uh, somebody else said we set them out ourselves and now we're discussing if they're in the right place and of course as you might expect we're saying that a lot of them could be in the, the joint column so we're going through an activity at the moment of shifting a hell of a lot over to the joint government and the people Right, fairs out what you were saying yeah, Cormac yeah, so yeah. what happens after this? Well I think it's about really encouraging people now to we want to open source this game so we want to try and get this game into as many neighbourhoods as possible if it's useful um, because it frames up that question of what is it citizens can do and what do they need help with. Um, so that's a, a practical step. But in a bigger sense, what we want to try to do at Nurture Development is really give people as much of an opportunity to use ABCD as a lens to do the stuff they want to do, to use what they have to achieve what they want. Um, it's still a work in progress, but we have a, I think today is, is, is a great event for platforming ABCD as a lens for people power change. So we want to keep doing that. And uh, we want to hear more stories. There's thousands and thousands of stories out there. We really want to hear those stories and uh, appreciate them and uh, shine a torch on them. They're the stories that are going to give us a sense of how ABCD is going to make sense in the UK context. So that's the next step. So the next thing is to get people in communities, on, not so much on the platform, but virtually on the platform, Absolutely. telling their own stories. Absolutely. The citizen voice, the citizen story. Uh, I know you believe this too, David. I know there's thousands of people who believe the power of citizens is absolutely, it's ubiquitous, it's all over the UK. So it's really about shining, shining a torch on that and giving them the voice. And, and also then, I suppose, asking how we can make this the new norm, because it's happening in spots all over the UK. It would be really interesting to think about how this can become a bushfire, how this can become the new norm throughout the UK.